Gen 12 is shaping up so well on our developers' grafting desks that an end is starting to form, and 3.17 is getting the latest edition. The Gen 12 renderer for 3.17 is being presented to us with the first big milestone completed, and citizens in the PTU are telling of performance increases. This is very exciting stuff. Gen 12 is responsible for instructing our GPUs in how to render those beautiful graphics you see in the verse. And with the newest release heading to the 317 Live in likely a few days time, we have more than double the performance from static geometry running through our PC's render thread. That's things like rocks and trees scattered across the planet. Now, why this does not impact our frames due to how the render thread isn't held up by our PC's main thread, there is also major improvement work finished for inclusion into 3.17 that does increase performance on our main thread too. These are the likes of the ECUS system, zone host updates, and more. Hoping and not promising. For 318, we are looking good for ships, planets, and characters going through that renderer. We're having many vehicles in one place at the same time will greatly benefit. And a Gen 12 switch is almost ready to be flicked, meaning a ton of legacy code will no longer be used. There is major work yet to be complete. So we are not there yet, but this year is looking reasonable for the final milestone, transparent geometry, to be finished by patch 320. I am so happy to hear this good news as I struggle, like many, with frames when servers are to blame, which they often are, and thus can feel confident that when a server is healthy, I'm experiencing the benefits of that renderer when I'm looking at that gorgeous, sparkly new river from the cockpit of my Halle. Kudos to the fine work from CIG developers Sylvan and Christopher who are heavily involved in these improvements. Thank you and O7s to you both. I've been Neil, Chief of Brigade. Take it easy, citizens. One, all, team! <laughs>